Hey you guys, what's up? Day 32, I just spent the night at the top apartment in one of the apartment buildings. Um, and I haven't gone in yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. Now it's going to get a dark, bit dark for a second because I don't have a headlamp on. I've been relying on the flashlights on my weapons, but... Let's search this guy. Now I filled um, my bike up with a lot of the parts that I got. I actually got... A really good sniper rifle barrel. I got, I think I got 44 Magnum parts in purple. Uh, I got a couple of really good things in that last Shotgun Messiah. It's pretty cool, but... Ooh, blue AK barrel. Don't mind if I do. All right, we got to bash this thing open. All right, so 2,500. Ready? One, two... Six, oh, seven. Took seven. It should have been, woo, should have been six. Is your weapon that good? Hmm? Here, we'll turn the light on for you. <clears throat> All right, so we kind of got, we we're just running around and kind of lost track of time, so we got stuck in the town. Hey, if you have problems surviving these towns, do go in one of these, go up to the top. Uh, block block yourself in though. I didn't block it in. I was ready with my shotgun just in case, but You're so high up in the air uh, That sounded like a cop just blew up Maybe he did He'll kill you if he blows up in here with you I saw my mini bike I parked in the lobby Dude is super. He just blew up. All right, so don't give me your shotgun. Look at, I was blasting concrete wall and it didn't kill him. All right, whatever. Your par partial body's not searchable. That guy's a one shot. All right, let's get. Give me my bike, man. Give me my bike, man. Wow. <laughs> So they just spent the night in here. Where we left off, we were in this shotgun Messiah right here. Right chair. That's the thing about um, fighting the cops in town. You usually want your hunting rifle, AK, or sniper rifle, stand off from them. <clears throat> get some of those heavy hitting shots on them. Otherwise, they'll just explode and you'll end up wasting a bunch of shots. You won't be able to get like... They, they have pretty good stuff on them. Alright, let's just take a quick peek, and then we'll, uh, hmm. I would like to find, uh, like I said, I want to find another, a new, another area to build a second base. Now, like I said, we've gone out to the east, out to the east, the northeast, and the southeast. We have done nothing to the west, other than when I... When, remember the game crashed or something? I had to... I respawned here. Something weird like that. Yeah, the game crashed. Had to respawn. I think that was this world. <clears throat> Not sure, but there was a reason why I, I was over there. But I didn't look around. I just came, went straight back to where I was supposed to be. Let me get some barrels if I can. Let's see. Can this open doors? Four shots. That was a uh, unprotected door, though, so it'd be a waste of ammo to do that. Always watch. Sometimes they used to have spikes right here on these doors, so keep an eye out for that. Pick up a couple of these barrels. I'm not gonna get bothered with the uh, <clears throat> with the gas cans because I don't need them. I don't need them. I got the one from out here ready. Must have. And I'll show you guys what I got in my bike. So put these barrels away. So yeah, purple sniper, purple 44 mag parts, and then this blue shotgun barrel. These shotgun parts is still blue on my shotgun, so this will really help. This will help. Actually, I got two of the shotgun ones and that. It should. It might take my shotgun to 600, so it's going to be maxed. 
And after that, I won't have to worry about... I don't really have to worry... I don't need to collect any more pistol parts because it's already purple and I probably won't use it. Same thing with the hunting rifle. But I'll take these back just in case and then I'll know. I won't have to worry. I can just scrap that stuff. It won't be taking up space in my inventory anymore. Once you get to that level, I mean, we're getting, we're getting up there. Now, I have increased the spawn rate of the zombies. I don't know if we're on high or very high now, but it's up there. So the next... Uh, the next, I think we should take a peek in this one over here. The next, um, what is it, day 35? I don't know, I was told there would be no math during this episode. We should have a pretty chaotic night, which is what we all look forward to. Anyway, so I'm thinking about, I, you know, I just, I love base building, right? I really do like base building, and I like different areas. Um, so maybe... We could find another area to build a second base. I'm not, no way getting rid of my current one. Man, I just built, it's not really even finished. I need more polishing compound. Um, but I do want to, did you see how fast that, did you see how fast that did? Wow, what the? Let's scrap these. They're not even worth it to us. Look at this. 591 if I mean, I'll keep them for now, like these cylinders and stuff, just to make sure I I max out those guns. Like I'm going to have purple rated 600 parts on all my stuff pretty soon. Sorry it's dark. I, I don't have the helmet on. I mean, maybe I should start carrying that. Well, no, I'm going to have I'm going to be rocking guns once I get all this gunpowder, so that's one thing we do need to do. So, this is what I'm talking about. This road leading south out of town, we've already gone to here. I should have checked to see if there was a road heading this way. And then here, it leads north out of town. Nothing's leading straight west out of town. So I'm, I'm guessing there's nothing here. But we do need to search, you know, out to, out to the west. You know, see what's southwest, northwest, and west, just like we did out here. So on the way back, where is the closest... So that to the south is our closest snow biome. Hmm. Uh, where are we at on this stuff? We have... We still need... We need, still need both. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance and go through here. Now when I say take a chance, there's random landmines in these areas, so... I think we should be... Whoa, 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 whoa! we have here could it be possible that there is this is also in the this is the first time i've seen it in this biome so we picked up this and this which i don't need hmm i had not seen potassium nitrate in the derelict biome uh, I didn't bring my hammer with me, so I'm not going to bother with these. Oh, see? One just blew up over there. Some, something hit it. Zombie or something. All right, we'll have to keep an eye out for potassium as we're going through here. That one, like, really stood out, though, didn't it? It was, like, big as day. I, was, I heard from the developers that I think there was a time where they had, like, laced this area with landmines. And then he t they took most of them out, but he's like, there could be some remaining, so just keep keep an eye out for that. <laughs> and there's definitely some remaining, so. See, I don't see any of that. There's a, any of that potassium anywhere. Like that one totally stood out, and I'm I'm I know it's it's hard for you guys to see because when I spin that blur effect comes in, but I mean it does it for me too. But you can see where there's white and where there's not. And that one just stood out like it really shouldn't have been there. So I wouldn't I wouldn't rely on potassium being in the derelict area, but it's possible that it's definitely in the snow biome. And you definitely have coal in the desert biome. So if you're looking for it, just go to desert, go to snow, get it. Those are <clears throat> you go to the two opposite ends of the spectrum. We're we're heading toward a little snow biome to see if we can pick up a little bit more. A little bit more. Well, it's just a little tiny area. That's, that's lead. 
It's a little tiny area. Just on the edge of that town. On the edge of town. I need a lot. I need to I need to make gunpowder, like a lot of it. Now, curious. Does it show? See all these little dark things? Are these water? Are these water? Or are they the actual marker? Let's see what they are. Are they big rocks? It's this rock, isn't it? Yep. It's these big boulders is what's marked. That's alright. Can't make it too easy for us, right? Marking everything. Just have to reload, reload the old fuel. All right, before I lose my mini bike, you're bugging. You're bugging. So look at that. We've used. We had. What did we have? Two hundred and fifty-eight or two twenty-eight, something like that. Shotgun shells. And we're down to ninety-five. We used a lot of shotgun shells in this little adventure. It's kind of why, um, it's kind of why I, I'm full, um, recommend taking, you know, picking two guns. Like I like to take like a 44 Magnum and a sniper rifle or 44 Magnum and the AK, you know, something like that. Take yourself or a shotgun and a rifle. That way you can use, you can use the range effect. But also, it's going to give you double the amount of ammo. I mean, you can always carry a lot of ammo, but you're going to probably end up having to repair your whatever weapon it is. There's one over there. Spend a whole day looking for potassium. Snowballs. There's not a snowballs chance, man. There's another one. Nice, nice, nice. I like to get gunpowder. Gunpowder for days. Any snowballs? This, you do end up getting a lot of snowballs, too. I think it's because I'm using um, I'm using that. Let me use the pick and see if I get the well. The, see if I get snowballs with this, I don't think so. Slower it is purple, but it's it's iron. It's not steel. The steel would be it would hit harder. Oh, that's the other thing. So I think. All right, let's take a look at that. I somebody had talked to me about this, and you got to remember, I'm doing a playthrough on, with guns on You Always Win and here, so sometimes I I do things in one, I don't do them in the other. So one thing I was I did rank I think in the You Always Win playthrough is this one, Miner 69er, mining tools. I did this, so I have 24 points. I just put two into that. So now, I, I should we read that again? I don't know if it. Minor 69. Do 20% more damage and less stamina. So. You can mine faster. Harvest resources faster. So you harvest faster. You don't get more resources, but you get them faster. Which is good. It's good, you know. I'm getting to the point where I'm. You know, whatever whatever points I get, I can kind of pick and choose what I want to use them for. Which is good. I, I, I would love to max everything out. I'd love to get to super high, high level, high day count to see just how crazy it gets. Do, do, do. Maybe rank up the old... Uh, all the gun perks, you know, the gun perks are something I haven't ranked. I just used them to rank it up. But there's like, you know, the boomstick and the, the one, the shotgun one has the one where the heads pop off easier. The rifle, the pistol has a couple. Those would be pretty cool to, to try those out as well. Especially, like I said, as it gets harder and harder and you need to, 
You need to be able to kill as fast as you can because one, you'll be saving bullets. But there's gonna be so many, you gotta be able to do a lot of damage quickly. All right, we're gonna go with that for now. And I believe if we go up this way, we gotta get over to the desert real quick and maybe get a couple piles of uh, of coal. <clears throat> oh, I'm oh, I'm pretty far. That's right. That plateau there is the is the town where I first made my house in that bunker. So we'll shoot over here to the desert. Uh, there is the military bases, but I'm not going to go to the military bases right now. They're so close that we can go to them really whenever we want. <clears throat> and I'm not worried about them right now. They're straight ahead of us, actually. I have them marked. I marked all three with just one, like, one mark in the middle saying three bases or something like that. Because, I don't know, it just makes it easier having to search every time. This should be desert right over here. That's lead. That's lead. It is good that there's lead there because you remember there was times when I had it, lead issues. Like lead has always been an issue. Now for some reason it's not, especially since you can actually get lead out of the ground. But I haven't needed to really. I haven't needed to get lead out of the ground. Is it mining faster? Two hits versus three maybe? Is that what it is? Seems like maybe it's two hits instead of three now with that, uh, with two two ranks of the minor 69er perk. That would be cool is if I could keep going and actually rank, you know, if I keep killing zombies and keep getting points, I'll get to the point where I can max everything out. I've never been close. I'm probably closer now than I ever have been just because I've really been focusing on killing a lot of zombies and getting those points to buy the perks, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, a little bit more coal. Maybe one or two more piles. We'll go around, go around this little lake this way. See if we can find a couple. Head back to the house. See what's going on. I do need to um, use what I'm gonna use to upgrade my weapons, and then you know put some of the other stuff in the in the sale bin, and then hit the re the trader and try and find some more uh, polishing compounds so I can actually do the Oh, there's three right here. So I can do... There's four. There's one over there. Do the rest of the uh, the garage. There's like four more in the garage. And then the, the entire base of the house needs to be done. So... Not one not one trader is going to have all that. So we're going to have to do it kind of in piecemeal. I looked. I didn't see where I could make it. Like in the chemistry thing. I think it's just... I think it's something you have to buy. I think it's something you have to buy. Unfortunately, that'd be cool if they did add that into the chemistry station. Kind of make make some really, really cool things. Like all of those kind of things. Put it in that chemistry station. See, I think they've done a really good job with the workbench. Making it a vital part of the game. Right now, the chemistry bench, not so much. I mean, maybe you're one of those people that really like the teas and you like brewing your own beer. I mean, it is good for, um, it is good for the gunpowder. Because you get uh, double the ratio. When I say double the ratio, look at all the coal right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I can see. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two more over there. I know I only said one or two more, but you find a pile like this, you might as well get it. Then we, then we don't have to worry about coal. We only have to worry about potassium. But what I was saying was, you know, it's, it's, instead of taking two coal, two potassium, it takes one coal, one potassium to make one gunpowder. That's what I mean by two to one ratio. It doesn't give you two for everyone. It just costs half the amount to make it. I know I've said that multiple times, but it's kind of important, especially like early on, early on, you go to a pop and pill store, find a chemistry station in the back and use it. Especially if you're like rocking a blunderbuss or something, you know, something where you're you're excited like I am when you find two gunpowder on a zombie. Well, you know, <laughs> you go back to the chemistry station, you'll be able to actually rack some up and end up ranking uh, your weapons up too because of it. Making gunpowder actually ranks um, weapon smithing, I believe. I think it's weapon smithing. Coal for days and a little dirt. In a little grass. 
Zombie, can't you see I'm busy playing the mining game? Alright, here, try this. Oh, you gonna get on the pile? Huh? Lady? Huh? Lady. So it says it actually does more damage as a melee tool as well, but... Not, not so much. Not like this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you should have blood bag on you. I'm running away from my bike. I'm gonna lose my bike. Take a, after this pile, we'll take a quick look. If we have 2,000, I'll stop. <laughs> 2,000. That'd be funny. Maybe I'll have 1,000? Oh, I have 1,400. Not as crazy as I thought. Not, I mean, not as far off crazy as I thought. We might be able to get 2,000 if we hit those other piles. If I can find my mini bike. Beedy, 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 beedy. There was... Pile there, pile there. One, two, three. Wow, there's so much coal here. See, this would be a cool house here if this is one of the, the houses with the forge in it. I love, like, early on, first, whatever, 10 days, 20 days, whatever you want. Build yourself a place in, in this house. I like that house. <clears throat> Only work on the second floor. Don't mess with the first floor. Two day. That's, uh, okay, that's not the one with the, with the, Forge, but if you find the cabin with the forge, that's pretty good. You, then you have to work on the first floor because the forge is on the first floor. But you can bar yourself in there pretty good. And, I mean, it's not that big of a deal if they're breaking in. Just, uh, just scrap this stuff. All right, where are we at? We're almost at 2,000. Almost at 2,000. I lost my mini bike again. What's that? There it is. Leaving your mini bike in the weeds is not the smartest thing. That's one there. Yeah, there. Look how many there was here. It's a ridiculous amount of coal. I love it. I love it. Don't hate. Don't hate the game. Hate the player. Oh, it's supposed to be hate. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Whatever. <laughs> She's gonna take a swing at me. Whoop. This will be it. This is it, I swear. Hey, you have to mine this stuff. What do you think it is? It just falls out of the sky? What do you think I get all my gunpowder? This is what I do. Sometimes I say I'm going to take a day off from recording. This is what I do. Because it's not the most exciting thing, but hey, some people like this. Say, yeah. Because while I'm doing it, I actually tell other stories. Sometimes something comes out of it. Some brilliant thing. All right, all right, fine. Let me get my shotgun out. Is she dead over here? Right, where are we at? We're at 2100. How about 22? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20! Ow! What the? Holy cow, dude! Alright, fine. It's zombie killing time, apparently. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hope I don't get sick going from... Going from 22 degrees back up to 81 degrees. I, did, I had to sleep on the floor. I was going to take a picture or video I didn't. But I had to sleep on... I brought my camping gear in slept on the floor at this place. <laughs> That's all I could do. I don't have a place to stay. You guys like shotguns? So do I. She didn't die. She's still moving. Not anymore. This guy's still moving. No? Ooh, you got a green t-shirt on. Alright, bud. You're the last one standing. See ya! Wow, dude, my mini bike was in a hole there. Did you see that? All right, so I'm by my military places. I just got to be careful not to drive too close to them. Let us cut across to home. Home base, please. There's the other one. Right, how awesome is that? Three of those military... Oh, you know what I would like to check, though? Guns and I... Well, Guns found it. I didn't find it. Um... 
found that there was another place where there could be a crate. Okay, so he was on this outside here, right? And he saw at where the like little entrance was, there was a like sheet metal or something right here. There was sheet metal right here and there was a crate hiding in it. So take a look at these places and see. Maybe we should go to the other ones real quick to see if we see it. Like that's all I need is more rocket launcher parts. I can sell it. junk well did that guy disappear or he got back up that's him right there wow AK parts for All right. just make sure I don't think there's another one of those areas like that I'd like to find it to show you guys though Wow, dude, our AK is going to be purple. Scrappage and scrappage. While we're here, let's check the munitions box. I really would like to go look at that other one. I got 18 shells left, though. Well, we got some slugs now. All right, we got some more treasure maps. My mini bikes over here. All right, let's race over to these real quick. I want to show you guys that. He's found that. I'm like, what? What is it? He's like, yeah, munition chest right here. I'm like, no, how'd you find that? This is not the way I normally go in, so. Right here. See this metal piece I was talking about? I'm in trouble. Okay, that was a bit troubling. shot that dude. More rocket launcher stuff. Scrap it. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't have any more room. That's what I'm talking about right there, you guys. So there's one inside, and some of them will have that. So... That's something to keep your eye out for. Guns actually found that. I, I did not know that. So there could be... There's a possibility of two um, munitions crates in there. Which is super handy because, you know, normally you'll find something really good in there. Normally. I mean, you know. Sometimes it's give and take, but traditionally you'll find pretty good stuff in there. I am full and my bike is full. Like, I am chock-a-block full. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time. I'm going to build... I, might, I should have a maxed out shotgun, I should have a maxed out hunting rifle, I should have a maxed out pistol, and I should get my AK up purple when we're done with this. Because I've got a lot of blues and purples now. And I'll combine them with what I've got. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Doo -doo -doo. My bike is... What? Why is my bike messed up? Huh. Look at... 
There you can see everything. All the purples and the blues. The blue AK. Look at there's That's almost a purple AK thing right there. So all this stuff. It's going to be pretty good. <laughs> what the? Who did that? All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take, like, the whole night <laughs> probably doing this. But I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.